Kitty. So, Alison, please um, lower the volume of your IG. Yeah. Said, uh, Bo said there's an echo on IG. Hi, everyone. There, I don't think we have an echo. I cannot hear any echo as of now. So, hi, good evening, everyone. So, welcome to another um, meet up Thursday. So, this is going to be an exciting Thursday for everyone because the title of our event itself is very exciting. Oh, diba? Go for gold. Who doesn't like gold? So, we've been hearing about, you know, the golden era, etc. But today, we will teach you not about the golden era, but how to properly invest in gold. So, can we confirm? Can we say hi from Facebook, from Instagram? Hello on Twitter. Oh, Jerome said first gold. Ayan. So, I think magbibigay yata kami ng um, raffle today sa mga mag first to like and first to share our live event. So, we have um, just comment, say hello, say first to comment or first to first to share the live this afternoon. So, we're so excited. I am excited as well because I don't have any, um, I barely know anything about investing in gold. All I know um, about gold are jewelry. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and, you know, gold reserves on how, you know, paano tayo nagkakaroon ng pera or how we make money. That's it. That's the limit of my knowledge on what gold is. But apparently, they're a good investment. But, we, but before we jump into that, let's start first with, you know, introducing Oh, uh, it's it's just six thirty. So, ayan. Let's just wait a bit and just um share the live event to all our friends and network this afternoon. By the way, my name is Bill. I think nakikita niyo naman ako nag-host every Thursday. <laughs> this is my regular job after my regular job. So every Thursday you will see me. Unfortunately, you don't have any choice <laughs> but to see me every Thursday hosting events. Eunice, um um one of our um big C. Um, community managers is not um, here today, so I will be taking over. So, before, uh, without further ado, ayan, sa mga first time for all those who um, are with Big C, watching Big C for the first time this evening. So, what is Big C? Ayan. So, um, sige. For, uh, for the benefit of those who are watching from Facebook, LinkedIn, and yeah. Um, meron kaming konting PowerPoint, no? but for the benefit of those who are on IG right now, Bixi is a platform that connects women who want to invest with the knowledge, network, and tools to, in to start investing. So, it's a platform. So, paano kami naging platform? Because Bixi is actually an app. So, also, if you are watching from um, Instagram right now, ayan, so... Uh, may magte-text sa inyo, may magte-text tuloy, may um, just comment in the, uh, put something in the comment section, ask for the link kung gusto nyo mag, kung gusto nyo ng link, or you can also go inside our uh, platforms, Instagram, Facebook, we also have a LinkedIn, we also have an account on Twitter, and now we are flashing right in the screen the download QR codes for both um, the App Store and Google Play. So, ayan, so please download the app. Because, sabi ko nga kanina, Big C is a platform that connects women and equips them, equips them with the right knowledge, network, and tools to start investing. So, bakit important yung investing? Kasi, um, um, ah, bakit important sa amin as Big C yung invest, investing for women? Because women nga are usually... Um, um, the lar and the usually it we we are we women are the largest untapped market so 40% of global wealth and 30% uh, 80% of purchasing decisions are by are made by women however fewer than 1% of us invest talaga in capital investment so tignan niyo ang 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 ang, ang laki pa rin ng gender gap in finance despite you know Holding 40% of global wealth, 80% of financial decisions are made by women. But then, less than 1% pa rin yung nag invest in capital markets. That's why Big C exists para ma-equip lahat ng women to have the proper knowledge, network, and tools uh, for us women to start investing. So, um, that's it uh, for a short introduction about Big C and how to download Big C. Now, 
uh, for our um, very brief lang na housekeeping rules. Ayan. So, um, pag may sinasabi po ako, especially ako, hindi naman po ako, fi- I'm not a financial advisor. So, uh, whatever whatever uh, I say here um, is not um, a financial advice, but it's uh, it's it's merely a guidance for everyone para matuto tayo with the right knowledge network and tools. Yun nga. At the same time, um, what if you have questions, we actually have a community inside the app. That's why it's very important to download the app. In our, Inside our community, we have financial advisors. Yan. So financial co- coaches, wealth coaches who can actually um, impart ayan, and give financial advice kung meron kayong kailangan. So just comment in any of our channels. There's channels for events channels for insurance, channels for making money, jobs, etc. So comment kayo doon if you have any questions or comments or if you want to, if you have, you know, additional knowledge. Ayan. So pwede kayong mag-comment doon. So again, download the Bixi app um, and join us and register, of course, and join us starting today. So ayan. So ang dami ko nang nasabi in five minutes. I was talking non-stop. So hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Exacto, it's 6.35 p.m. So we have a very exciting topic today. It's go for gold. Ayan. So I'm sure mahilig tayo manood mga Olympics. Ganyan. We always want to, you know, get the gold medal. I remember it was, I think it was the same um, time last year, July or uh, July or August 2021. We actually won the first Olympic gold, ayan, with our weightlifting um, uh, champion, si Miss um Hydelin hit or Hydelin ba tama ba ayan and today we will also go for gold hindi nga lang sa Olympics but in our um investment so um hindi i i won't make this long because our speaker is up and ready and very excited to share um everything she knows about gold so la uh, ladies and of course gentlemen uh let's welcome uh big C's. yeah so we have an internal speaker our very own Head of Partnerships, Miss Allison Nam. Hi, hi everybody. This is Allison. So nice to meet you all. Pleasure to meet you all. So I'm Big C, Head of Partnership. Um, before joining or starting Big C, um, I have been investing for more than uh, a decade, probably about fifteen years, uh, working for banks and also investing on my own. So very excited to share about um, some of the key elements of uh, investment in precious metal, which is one of my favorite subjects. So yeah, look forward to talking about um, gold. So maybe to start off, I just wanted to kind of uh, give everybody a, a kind of background about why gold is so precious, right? So a lot of people ask me, why is it that gold is considered as a precious metal? So gold is used in many different um Technology, even your phone is a part of it. Um, the chips itself is actually used, uh, that actually uses gold in, in, in the phone, the semiconductor chips. So it's actually used in a lot of industrial um, manufacturing activities. So that's why there is a consistent demand for gold. And that's, one of, that's also one of the key elements to why the price has been stable for decades. The second element is... I'm not sure whether probably those people who are born before or after 1976 is not fully aware, but our money used to be packed to gold. So that changed in 1976 when US decided to unpack the precious matter to the currency. So currently, all the currencies in the world generally pack the currencies to about 2 to 5% in gold. So there's also a consistent demand by the governments to buy gold to make sure that their currencies, you know, although it's a very small percentage, but their weightage still has to be maintained. So that's also a second driver why gold is quite consistent. Of course, a very interesting element is gold is is a hedge. So when the market goes up and down, people are scared. And fear drives people to safe haven assets. And gold is considered a very safe haven asset because of the first two reasons. So historically, what we've seen for the past 20 years, 2008 uh, financial crisis, there's a huge upwards of gold price. It went all the way to 1,900 ounce, uh, sorry, dollars per ounce. 
Um, and then in during the trade war, when Donald Trump was the president, and he actually had started a trade war with China, gold price actually stood up to almost two thousand dollars. So now we're at this point. Inflation in the U.S. is nine percent. I think Philippines is about six or seven percent is around the same. So we're going through the same trend. The demand for gold is picking up again, and the prices have actually been crippling up high in the past twelve to twenty-four months since the inflation go up. So yes, this is a very good asset to buy when it comes to、uh, hedge against inflation. So that's kind of background. Yes. Sorry, I wasn't mute. Oh, right.、Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm still being、uh, <laughs> being defeated by technology. Okay, so I think I have to ask a question, Alison. So, as you mentioned,、uh, it's it's gold is really like a, a sought、um, uh, form of metal, right? And as I mentioned today, it's investing on gold. So, of course, personally, I am interested in investing on gold. So, what what are the basics? Um, on investing on this com-、uh, commodity, what should we know? For instance, I am a first-time investor. This is, let's say, this is my first week or this is my first month um, um, investing in gold. What should I know? What are the basics? Okay, so there is no、um, wisdom to buying gold. If you decide to hedge against inflation,、uh, there's two ways to do it. You go to a jewelry shop and buy a physical gold jewelry. And typically, the shop will tell you, say, "Hey,、uh, what types of gold do you want to buy?" So, gold is segregated by carats. The carats is equal to within the gold jewelry,、uh, within the jewelry, how many percent of it is actually made of gold. So, the typical is eighteen carat. So, if it's eighteen eighteen carat, that's only seventy five percent of it is gold. Uh, and then some of them you will see is twenty two carat. So twenty two carat gold, it has about ninety one point seven percent gold. The highest is twenty four carat gold, which has got a ninety nine point nine percent gold. So easiest way to buy without having to learn much of anything. Your mom can do it. Your grandma is doing. My my parents do it all the time. Is to go to a shop and just buy a piece of jewelry. But you have to be very smart about buying what piece of jewelry because at the end of the day, it's a liquid asset. You want to be able to sell it at, and then gain the profit. So my recommendation is go to a gold shop, tell the guy, say I want a twenty-two or twenty-four carat gold、uh, jewelry, and then he will show you, and you can buy a nice piece of jewelry,、uh, gold chain,、uh, whatsoever, and do 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 the purchase. Then second option, if you're more sophisticated and you have a trading account, like I do, you buy this.、Uh, you can actually buy an ETF called GLD. The stock code is GLD. I hope everybody remember that. This is GLD, right? So GLD is the most traded ETF in the world for gold because it's packed to the physical gold vault of BlackRock. So it is packed to physical. So it moves in tandem with the actual gold price,、um, and is the most liquid asset. So GLD is the code you can buy it from your broker, or you、uh, can do online trading. Um, Alison, um, somebody commented. I they cannot hear you on IG. Are you on mute? Just lower the volume. Don't mute yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't just. Yeah, just lower the volume. Don't mute. Yeah, thank you. Do I should I repeat that? Ah,、uh, yes, please. <laughs> <Okay> . Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna repeat what I just said. So for gold, there's no wisdom to it. All you have to do is there's two options. First option is you go to a shop and tell the shop, say, I want to buy a piece of jewelry. Then the question is, what type of jewelry? So there's Three categories of gold. There is eighteen carat, twenty-two carat, and twenty-four carat. What all these carats mean? Eighteen carat means within a piece of jewelry, there's only seventy-five percent gold in that piece of jewelry. Twenty-two carat gold means there's ninety-one point seven percent gold in that piece of jewelry, and twenty-four carat gold means there's ninety-nine point nine nine percent. 
gold in that piece of jewelry. Because when it comes to creating a jewelry, they usually mix with other metals. And the lower the carrot, the lower the value. So when you want to pawn the piece of jewelry, the value will drop. So it's important to buy jewelry that is at least 22 to 24, all 24 carat gold. And once you buy it, you keep it in a safe or you keep it at home. And typically you can actually pawn it quite easily. If you are more sophisticated, that's option two. You can have, you have a broken account, you can buy ETF, gold ETF. The gold ETF code is GLD. Is by it's called BlackRock uh, Gold Spread. This particular contract is the most liquid contract in the world because it's packed to physical gold that is stored in the vault. So the market is like the price is in contingent to the market price. So you get the real time price. So that's for more sophisticated um, users who have a booking account. Uh, okay, in relation to that question, Alison, because for, for instance, I personally would, I think, go <laughs> with the GLD <laughs> because, you know, I could lose things <laughs> and, you know, I, 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 I usually like move around so I cannot like keep, keep uh, gold, physical gold with myself. How do we access um, this kind of, you know, like GLD or the BlackRock that you mentioned? So you have to first go to a stockbroker. Mm -hmm. to buy to say they want to open a, a a broking account this particular contract is available in um in new york stock exchange so it's highly liquid or if there is a stock in the other option is there are a few gold mine company uh in philippines so you can also look into buying gold mine company that is listed in philippines Mm -hmm. That's number two. Number three is, I believe there is a gold, uh, gold shop company. So it could be mining company. It could be a company that has a gold, gold franchise selling gold products in Philippines. So yeah, that, that could be another few options. Okay. So okay, I, I was just listing it down because you know we will echo we will echo the uh, these options later on. Okay, so now that I know that now that I have an idea on how to start, namely number one, you know, like getting the physical gold, buying physical gold twenty two carat above from you know from a jewelry store or going uh, via the, a more sophisticated path, which is uh, doing uh, gold ETFs. Um, my question my next question Allison is that um the past months we've the past month actually we've actually been doing um series of talks on inflation so my next mm -hmm. question would be does gold value decrease increase or is it at least stable in times of like you know times like this where inflation is really like you know just ramping up every single day uh, sorry before I go to your question I just wanted mm -hmm. to repeat uh, just remind everybody in Philippines, a lot of people are very um, used to buying Saudi gold. Um, mm -hmm. Saudi gold is very commonly sold in Philippines, but that is only an 18 karat gold. My suggestion is 18 karat gold, like I say, is only 75% gold. So there's, there is a possibility that the valuation will not sustain because it has got a lot of very low percentage of gold. So mm -hmm. Going back to your question, um, sorry, do you mind to repeat that again? Yeah, um, um, we have talks uh, last month. We had a series of talk about inflation, and you know, we had like inflation, inflation beating strategies that were mentioned by our um, speakers. Now, my question um, is: Now that we're talking about gold, does gold value increase, decrease, or it is you know at least stable during times of um, um, during times like this where inflation just ramps up? ramps up every single day so the expectation or the forecast of gold prices it will keep increasing in the at least for the next 12 months one of the key reasons is because interest rates is going to keep rising uh and inflation is expected to hit above 10 percent mm -hmm. uh, i think the u.s are, yes. sorry one minute uh um there's an echo um 
on IG. Can you lower the volume, please, of your IG? Just not mute, but the lowest. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. have Sorry. the lowest yeah. possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There. Okay. Is it better now? Sound check. Can you talk? Can you try talking? Is I cannot hear uh, any. Okay. I think it's better. Okay. Okay. So, um, going back to your question on the projection of gold price, right? So, there's two mm -hmm. elements to why gold price is high. Uh, a big element is fear. And people, when they are fearful, they will look for safe haven. If any one of you are in the stock market today, your stock price would probably have fallen at least 30 to 40%. That's the case for me. Um, so when you are in fear, you look for alternative uh, asset, which gold is a very good alternative asset. That's one. So the expectation is it will, con it will continue to be in demand because of the market volatility. Number two is inflation. The inflation is tied to where the interest rate goes as well, right? So if you see globally, everybody, every government is increasing interest rates and they expected that the global inflation will hit at least about 12 to even higher, 12 and above per interest rates uh, percent. Um, so in such situation, people are also fearful because you have mortgage, right? And when mortgage mm -hmm. goes higher, then, you know, your money value goes down. Of course, you want to hedge. So there's also the hedging mechanism. They want to buy gold to hedge. So to your question, yes, it's a very stable asset class uh, with the projection to go out for the next 12 months. Okay. That's actually, that's actually very good to, that's actually very good to know because like you mentioned, um, you know, if you have mortgage that is payable in the next, let's say, next year or next five years it's actually uh actually fear inducing so it's actually um uh for me personally it would be nice to have you know like maybe a bit of gold investment because at least there's something that's in um stable at the moment and at the same time it's projected to go up so it's not projected i i i, I at least i don't have to worry about you know losing it uh, losing like half of it the value of it and which leads me to my next question allison so um, um, I think uh, based on your previous statement, it's uh, the the answer would be very obvious. But I uh, maybe you could you know like add up to it uh, because my next question would be: Is having uh, sufficient gold or like you know a small amount of gold investment a smart financial strategy? Oh, absolutely. So a very good example that I learned from my godfather: He bought a gold bar, ninety nine point nine percent. Gold bar, and he has been keeping it since he bought it when he was 30 years old, and he's been having it for the past 43 years. He is 74 now. Wow. And the price of that gold bar hasn't dropped. It actually went up significantly. So, as an asset class, historically, over a long period of time, it's very stable and it's always goes up because it's, it's always in demand, industrial demand, government monetary demand, inflation, um, you know, hatch, uh, as okay. also a portfolio diversification. Mm -hmm. So I will always advise everybody if, you know, gold is a very boring asset class because the price doesn't fluctuate like stock. It goes a few hundred percent, right, over a short mm -hmm. time. It's very stable. It goes up a bit. Uh, you know, over certain longer period, but mm -hmm. you, you have to put in as one of the asset class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's um, it's like you mentioned, it's very stable. No, what? How many? I don't know. Um, in in your experience, how many years should I keep at least? You know, for instance, I I get like half of a gold bar right now. How many years do I have to keep it? <laughs> Maybe you know, just you know, just for it to because you mentioned your grandfather had it for the past 43 years and can i keep it for a shorter period of time but you know um, i also expect um, good returns let's say five is five years okay or should be minimum of 10 years something like that i think historically if you look over the last 20 years until now the price is it's been 
generally stable and it actually went up um, for the past 20 years. Um, mm -hmm. the lowest, of course, it depends on your entry price, right? Mm -hmm. So if you were to buy it now, you know, keep it for the next five years, considering that the inflation is going to consistently be, you know, at least for the next 24 months, based on what we see now with the Ukraine war and the high oil price and Russia and China and US trade war, at least for the next two to three years, it's, it's definitely a very good uh, liquid asset because if you want to sell it, you can just go to any pawn shop and sell it off. So it's a very good asset class to hold. Okay, so at least in the next 24 or 36 months, no, it, it, it's, something, it's something good to have. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, the war is not going to go away, uh, at least for that time period. The expectation is um, oil prices, because Russia owns 80 over percent of the world natural gas. Um, and mm -hmm. with this war and they are stopped selling to Russia, they control, you know, the, the price of natural gas will, will keep going up because Russia is not giving the liquidity. So demand is more than supply. Okay, okay. Um, that's actually that's actually a good idea. So before we proceed to the practical part of this program, of this meetup, I should say, I called it a program. But um, I would like to solicit questions. <coughs> Sorry, I would like to solicit questions from the audience. So if you have questions, po kayo, this is the this is the best time to ask, no? Because um, yes. <laughs> this is the best time to ask because we have Allison here. Uh, obviously, she has experience from her grandfather to her personally a uh, trading in gold so um she has experiences in you know both ways so um uh, my first question for the practicum part would be ito na, because i really want to know so number one uh, what products are available in the market today allison what gold products let's start with the gold products and where do i find them if for instance I decide over the weekend, hey, I want to invest in gold. What uh, what products can I um, like look on Google or where do I find them? So I use um, Yahoo. If you have Yahoo account, you go under Yahoo. There's a finance page. Mm -hmm. And then under the finance, you can search for gold mining. You type in gold mine. Philippines, and then mm -hmm. they will list down the few um, companies that's listed in Philippines that's dealing with gold mine that you can buy stocks of. Mm -hmm. um, that's a quick way in terms of buying stocks. Um, but ultimately, you have to have a trading account with your broker, but at least you can do some research, mm -hmm. right? So for research purposes, I use this a lot Yahoo. Yahoo, uh, Yahoo Finance is very good. Um, it has very in-depth information with free charts over the 20, 30 years. So you can know the price performance of the mining company and the stock. Um, so that's a very good way to start for research on what stock that you should consider buying that's gold related. Okay. Uh, and Yeah. Okay, so we have Yahoo Finance for research, no, for researching on your, you know, your, the 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 market where you can buy things. Um, uh, is it correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. we have a question. We have a we have a question here. Yeah, if you have any question and I couldn't see, no, because my friends in the Philippines they're kind of shy, <laughs> so just just raise them in the comment section. You don't have to message me um, <laughs> privately. It's okay. So we have a question here, Alison, via Instagram. What sites do we go to to buy GLD or go into buying gold online? Um, okay, so I use this interactive broker um, to buy my stocks or uh, Tiger. T, um, that's also a broker, online broker. Tiger. It's called Tiger? Yeah. I okay. have check how to buy GLD from Philippines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Or you can, I'm, I think in Philippines, you can also buy small gold bar. If you have a bank that you go to, if you can ask them, do they sell small gold bar? That's also another way that is quite good to buy gold bar. 
but it comes mm-hmm. in different sizes so you can buy a smaller size one the smallest one smallest one is like a, a small leaf some of them mm-hmm. so that's the and other you, option mm. and you really get a, a bar no when you buy something like you get it like physically or you know you have to put it in a safety deposit box or a you, they will bar. give you a physical bar so you can take it home or you can store in the bank they usually have a safe deposit account uh, at the bank that you can store. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, sorry, I missed the I missed the first part, Alison. When you mentioned before Tiger, what did you mention? Uh, sorry, uh, I can't hear you very well. Uh, you mentioned of uh, uh, um, Tiger, but you mentioned another one, right? I didn't get that. Interactive broker. So these are the two brokerage company that I use. That's online. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I'm not 100% familiar whether they have a trading account. If you are from Philippines, whether you can trade from uh, mm-hmm. this account. Okay. Uh, this, this company. But yeah, so these are the two that I I buy uh, for my stocks. So it's called what? Interactive Broker? Yes, inter- Interactive. Okay. In- okay. So we have Interactive Broker and... Tiger. Tiger broker, yeah. Okay, uh, there's a question here. You mentioned earlier, Alison, about um, in the Philippines, there's a high um, possi- uh, high uh, market for Saudi gold. So the question here is, what is the difference between Saudi gold and Italian gold? And what's, a better, what's the better gold to invest in? Oh, that's a very good question. So Italian gold... I know for Saudi gold, it is 18 carat. Mm -hmm. So I don't consider this as a good investment because the carat is lower, which is, is, yeah. So it's only 75% gold Mm -hmm. content in the jewelry, 75%, yeah. Italian gold is even lower. Italian gold only has, is 14 carat gold. Mm. So 14 karat gold, which means it has got probably less than 10%. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see. 14 karat is only 58% gold. Mm-hmm. So not a very good way to buy precious metal. Okay. So, gold, so yeah. Yeah. So what is the what is the what is the type of gold? So I'm not really familiar as well. So, so you go to a yeah. shop and tell them, say you want a 22 karat gold. Mm-hmm. Or a tw- 22 karat gold is common. Uh, Singapore mm-hmm. sells them in all the jewelry shop. That one has 91.7% gold. Okay. 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 So that will, cons- it has got consistency on uh, appreciation con- comparing to your Saudi or your Italian. Mm. Okay, so we also uh, so it doesn't uh, this um, correct me if I am wrong. The source um, is uh, as long as it's twenty two k, it's regardless of the source, right? Yeah. So as long as long as they tell you and they give you certification and say that this is twenty two carat, mm-hmm. that you can pawn at any gold shop or any pawn shop, mm-hmm. that's good. Okay, so if you have. Sorry, what I would advise my help, uh, my my um, my helper does is she actually asks if you have friends and uh, if you have family in working in Singapore, you have family working in uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, you know, you can get them to buy for you as well. Um, yeah, in in Hong- Philippines, I'm not sure where you can buy them, but yeah. So going to your question, if you don't mind to repeat, yes. Yeah, uh, I was I, I was asking um, if uh, regardless of the source, as long as it's twenty two k or twenty four k, and the second, uh, um, how does the certification look like? Like for, for you know, there, there's a lot of you know that yeah, there's a possibility that we could be scammed or we could be tricked with you know. But how does uh, what do we have to look for in a certification so that we can be assured that hey this is correct that it is it's really a certification which certifies that you know this bar is uh, worth 22k or 24k 
Um, so for a jewelry shop, if they are a licensed jewelry shop, a uh, mm -hmm. licensed bullion shop by the central mm -hmm. bank, they usually mm -hmm. carry a license, right? Because to sell gold, mm -hmm. you need to be a licensed. Mm -hmm. um, so first thing, you have to go to a licensed jewelry shop uh, that's uh, certified. Or mm -hmm. That's one. Then the second one is they usually give you a, a, a certificate that is authenticated by... Um, by a central body in Philippines that say this mm -hmm. is this is real and sold by a licensed uh, jewelry shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so things to consider is number one, the carrot, the number two, the certification, and number three, the license. So we have to look for the license coming from the BSP. In the Philippines, I think it's being licensed by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. So you have to go to a licensed bullion shop or a licensed jewelry shop. So Three things to take into consideration, guys. Ayan, sa mga nanonood. Number one, syempre, we have to consider the carrot. Uh, so, um, Allison advises um, us to, I mean, um, um, prefers, kumbaga, to have 22K above. Number two, of course, look for the certification uh, that, that this kind of gold has, uh, has such carrot nga, 22K or uh, 24k and last but not the least this is very important no we have and we have you know we have seen people na mga runaway um shops ganyan so we have to look for their license are they licensed by the bsp to um to be a bullion shop or do they have license to sell talaga ng um authentic or genuine na jewelry so that's what we we should consider um Question, Alison. This is uh, very practical. How much usually is the twenty-two carat gold? Um, it depends on the weight of the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's very hard to tell you how much <laughs> is um is uh is the jewelry is the is the gold. Does white gold have value? Yeah, does white gold have value? I think um. Considering the purity, um, I think, hang on, what is the purity of white gold? It's 75%. So it's a 18 karat gold. I wouldn't say it has no value, but in terms of um, long-term value, it's not high. Mm. So we prefer, pari ah, sorry, <laughs> I was talking to you in Tagalog already. So we still prefer the yellow, the yellow, right? The yellow gold, is that correct? Mm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Carrot, yeah, carrot is very important. Um, so when gold loses its luster, does it also? No, it doesn't. Because the purity of the gold is still always there. Mm -hmm. Like my mm -hmm. godfather, 43-year-old gold, is, it's all like old, but... The value is still there. Mm, okay. So, guys, invest kayo sa yellow. <laughs> um, the white, actually, correct, Alison, what did you say earlier? Uh, the, the white gold loses its value over time, something like that? So, white gold is 18 karat. Mm. Same as Saudi gold. Saudi mm -hmm. gold and white gold is, a, is also 18 karat. So, if it's 18 karat, it's 75% purity of gold. Mm -hmm. right? Although it's cheap, but when you buy low price, you sell low price as well on a long-term basis. Okay. Um, ah. So white gold cannot actually um, have 22 or 24 karat, correct? Um, I think most white gold as a jewelry, they, they use it for... They mix the gold with silver and other alloy to make it white. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why it's, it's white gold, right? So... Mm -hmm. White gold red generally looks pretty as a ring, you know, uh, but long term, the value does not really go up. Okay, perfect. I actually like yellow gold because white gold doesn't look good on my skin. So, <laughs> so oh, that's a very good point. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. I, I, I think I'm good with that. So, interesting. Very interesting, guys. So, white gold pala. Is usually lower in carat compared to the to, to its yellow gold counterpart. So, um, here um, we have another question, Alison. Sorry, uh, we have time. <laughs> Pearls and gusted on gold. How's the value? Does it go up? 
sorry um it like for instance uh, uh we have rings right that you mentioned earlier rings and there's like pearls onto it does the value does, does it add value to it does it go up oh that's a very good question so they they will curate the piece of jewelry like i have mm -hmm. i have a gold ring you know i have a gold ring with diamonds inside they will value it independently so they they value the the, the the amount of gold in my ring they also mm -hmm. value the amount of diamond that's in my ring and in when i buy this piece of jewelry they give me a certificate they will tell me what is the weight and what type of gold is being used in creating this piece of jewelry mm -hmm. so when i sell it they will actually tell me by how much is the gold and how much is the diamond worth so going to your question whether pearl pearl the yeah, price pearl. is what? yeah so pearl basically is a flat they don't account it to increase the value of your when you pawn it to be honest because mm. that's um yeah um they will only account the gold that is in the piece majority of them will account mainly the gold in the piece of jewelry okay interesting so yeah. um so the diamonds they will account it separately but for pearls not not usually yeah because pearl is an accessory mm -hmm. it's uh it's not considered as a uh, precious metal or, or uh, of course if you are talking about uh normal pearl of course pearl has different grade so mm -hmm. If you are buying a Mikimoto pearl, it's different from mm -hmm. buying a pearl in a normal jewelry shop. So they also yeah. um, they also grade the pearl. So normally for um, for pearl that's used in general jewelry shop, um, the grade is not so high. Freshwater pearl, most of them. But if uh, yeah, so when you buy the piece of jewelry, you have to tell you have to ask them what kind of pearl is that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I, I don't know a lot about pearls, so this is a, this is an interesting like info for me. Okay, Alison, before you uh before you sign up uh sign off no, I I I have one question left. I listed it last night. So aside from gold, we've been talking about gold the past um at least for the past thirty minutes. Aside from gold, are there any other precious metals in the market which are worth investing on? For instance, I don't have enough like budget for gold because. I know that gold could be pricey. You know, it, it's pricier than other material uh, metals. Are there other um, precious metals which you know we could check on, we could invest on that that are not very expensive as well? Um, they they currently right. Um, people are actually looking at silver as a hatch, but I don't suggest people buying physical silver because um. Anything physical is quite and silver as an alloy is very big. The nine two five silver alloy is very big, so you need to kind of find a place to store it. Um, it's quite big. Um, so there are people who actually buy silver as a contract. Uh, there's also silver EFT as well. Um, so you can consider buying the silver EFT. ETF, sorry. Okay. So, so now we have gold. Now we have silver. What else um, are there to like look into? So, precious metal is the category that people are looking at for inflation hatch. So, there's platinum. There is palladium. Palladium is not easily accessible, but pal uh, platinum, uh, in your piece of jewelry, some of them actually do make platinum jewelry. Platinum. Um, okay. Yeah, platinum. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have silver, we have gold, platinum, mm -hmm. and palladium, right? Palladium, yeah. Palladium is used in a lot of casts. So if you look at the price of palladium, right, it has gone up. Anybody who bought palladium five years ago would have made at least three, four hundred percent because mm -hmm. of the EV cast, electronic vehicle. Oh, so they use this thing. They use this that uh, in the manufacturing of uh, EV. So that is why um, the palladium price has went up very high. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So 
So I think we have um, two minutes left with Alison. I just want to make uh, a, a recap of the very important parts of the practicum that she mentioned earlier. So number one, where or how do we find things online? Number one, she suggests uh, using Yahoo Finance to research on our options. And she mentioned of uh, first, Tiger, and second, Interactive Broker, where to find, you know, um, where to find... Um, the different uh, golds or different metals that we're interest that we could you know get some interest from, and most importantly, number one, uh, she suggests getting uh, at least twenty two k twenty two carat uh, gold or above. Number two, it has to have a certification and uh, that you know certifies that the, 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 the this metal or this gold has this amount of uh, carat. And last but not least. Always look for a license, um, uh, a license from the seller. So it that the seller should be a licensed bullion shop or a licensed jewelry shop. And it's not just about gold, actually. So for instance, you have a lower budget, or you're 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 just starting like me, and you know you're just testing the market as well. And you also want to diversify. Number one, we have gold. At the same time, you also have silver. We also have titanium and pl platinum and also uh palladium these are also options so um i'm not sure if we still have questions left um yeah so i, I just don't want to add on one point i'm just looking at the website about um the them i might have to make a correction uh some of the goals bsp was mentioning on their website that uh, they they might not re necessarily require if you want to sell jewelry um, BSP seems to say that you do not necessarily need to have a license from them but when you buy gold I would suggest that you ask you definitely need to have a certificate right mm -hmm. so the authentication has to be, be has to be able to be verified by a respected body Right, mm -hmm. I can't just sell you and claim that this is gold. All right, yeah, it could be gold plate, it could be you know, fake gold. So, mm -hmm. the shop that you go to has to be able to tell you say that they are genuine, they have the certificate to tell you say that this is real, uh, and this is authentic. Okay, okay, that's a good point, Alison. I actually, if I were to buy, like for instance, if I, if I were to buy tomorrow or on the weekend, I would also prefer something that you know that is. To, to get to get it from somewhere with a certification because you know that's that's my hard earned money so I'm not gonna like and I, I don't actually know how to like detect gold <laughs> with my bare eyes so that's that's a good point. Um, yeah. We no longer have uh, questions left uh, from the audience and yeah so I think um, that's the end of our conversation. So Alison, do you have you know like last? Um, a closing uh, closing spiel for um, investing in gold, going for gold in times <laughs> of inflation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would suggest if you want to look at gold, ask your mom, ask your grandmother. They've been buying this for 40, 50 years. They can tell you which shop to go to that they trust. Mm -hmm. I think they are the best advisor when it comes to you want to invest into gold because my parents have been doing that for decades. I they know more than I do. So yeah, um that's my advice. Um but in overall, good luck with your hedging of uh, inflation. I think gold is definitely the way to go. Yeah, I agree too and I should start looking at it. Uh, maybe starting tonight <laughs> so yeah so uh thank you allison for a very um eye-opening um conversation and it's very informative actually uh, gold has been has been here like we always see gold i think on an everyday basis but we never uh, personally i never actually thought of it as you know as, as an in inflation beating strategy but tonight i have so many like thoughts that you know hey i think i should start looking at this and that and so yeah thank you so much and thank you so much to our audience for keeping us company for uh for putting in questions uni said in the comment section i am gold so she's gold <laughs> so uh thank you so much allison and um we'll we'll keep you posted if we bought 
24k gold <laughs> in the near future. So, um, 20, 24k is hard to get, but yeah, 22 is a lot. <laughs> Good luck, all. Yeah, thank you so much, Allison. And yeah, um, uh, okay. So, uh, bye. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Yeah, thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I hope you learned a lot, no? Ang dami ko natutunan tonight. Ang dami kong notes. Grabe yung notes ko. Hindi niyo pala nakikita. Yung notes ko, puro light lang yung nakita, no? So, I, ha- I have been taking down notes um, regarding this conversation tonight. Kasi um, wala din ako masyadong alam, to be honest, with um, investing in gold. And um, ganun pala, no? Um, akala ko dati parang same value lang sila. I mean, same lang yung, same lang yung, basta yellow na yan, gold na yan, ganun. So, hindi pala. So, um, I, I, um, tonight, I hope marami kayo natutunan when it comes to um, investing in gold. And it's actually a, a very stable uh, inflation-beating strategy pala. So, if you have more questions, if you have, um, or if you attended the live late, no, you can just comment in the Bixie community. Um, uh, just comment on live events. May pinost kami kanina and kagabi din na thread on the live event today. Makikita nyo naman yung Go for Gold doon. But of course, you have to download the app. Um, uh, download the app via App Store and Google Play. Ayan. Tapos, mag-register kayo para maging part na kayo ng community ng Bixie. And of course, you can you can ask questions uh, when it comes to, um, to um, investing in gold. So, Again, ano pa ba? Ano pa ba yung mga announcement namin tonight? So aside from um, aside from downloading the app, pag na-download niyo na, play our games, comment in the community se- uh, in the Bixie app community, and of course, um, we can exchange now our Bix coins kasi pag nag-comment kayo or if you play games, you earn Bix coins. Alam niyo yung Bix coins ko, almost 10,000 na yata. O di ba? Talagang competitive ako. Almost 10,000 na yung Bix coins ko. And if you have Bix coins, you can actually exchange them to actual rewards. So, 2-5 Bix coins. Sobrang daling kunin lang yan. Usually sa isang comment, si Yuni sabi niya, 11 Bix coins here. Okay, mine is 12k. <laughs> Ayoko talaga magpatalo, no? So, uh, for 2-5 Bix coins, it's so easy to get these. Um, num- uh, we ha- You can get a journal and a financial book. Kapag naman 3-5, you have the Bixi um, kit. So, we have a pop socket, may tumbler. Uh, the, the shirt I'm wearing right now, ayan, it's dry fit. So, kung tumatakbo din kayo, or if you're training for, you know, something, you can use it. And of course, an echo bag, pwede yung gamitin yan sa grocery. And last but not the least, if you have 4,000 Bix coins, you can have a one-on-one coaching. Ayan, so paano nyo makukuha yan? If meron na kayong at least two five at gusto nyo mag na ng Bix coins nyo, just message in our uh, Making Money channel. Ayan, so there's a channel there for exchanging, for rewards, redemption. Comments lang, ko, comments tuloy. Comment lang kayo doon, sabihin nyo, hey, may 2-5 Bix coins ako or 4,000. I need a one-on-one coaching on this uh, matter, like insurance or uh, kung, kung ano yung um, interest nyo, just let us know. Ayan. So, and for those who just came in, uulitin ko po, ang, ang Big C ay isang platform. So, kaya po kami nagpapadownload because it is an app yan, that connects women who want to invest with the knowledge, network, and tools to start investing. And last but not least, kung gusto nyong mas marami pang malaman about Big C, you can access our white paper. Yan. O diba, ang ganda ng quote, power is not given to you. You have to take it. It's from my favorite singer, uh, which is, who is me? Pero hindi, joke lang yun. Hindi po ako si Beyonce. Ayan, so, you can read the Bixie white paper. It was uploaded last June pa in our website. It's mybixie.com. Nandun po siya. You can access it. Uh, wala pong ano yan, wala pong password, wala pong fee. Ayan. So both our website or accessing uh, materials from our website and even from our app, everything is free. So um, uh, there, pag 8,000 Bix coins ba pinaridim ko? Two on two coaching ba? Hindi friend. One lang talaga. <laughs> it's a one-on-one coaching. Okay, so I think this is the end of our live. Ang, ang weird pala, no? Kapag mag-isa lang nagsasalita, parang nagmumonolog ako dito. But thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming in every Thursday for our live events here on Big C. 
And I hope you learned a lot today. And um, if you want to go back to our live event, uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow, just download the app. Makikita nyo lahat ng mga events natin doon. Or even yung mga live events namin in the past from inflation series to um, to those about uh, Big C orientation. We also had NFTs, etc. Everything is inside the app already. Just download the app. You can access them for free. Just look into it. Pwede nyo i-bookmark. Pwede nyo i-search, ayan, pwede nyo i-save, ayan. So, the Bixi app is um, um, very much available for download, ayan. Kung nakikita nyo ngayon sa screen ninyo dito sa, dito sa Facebook and LinkedIn, both the, both the link and the QR codes. And if you're on Instagram, uh, you can go to our uh, My Bixi Instagram. It's in our bio, so just click the link. Makikita nyo doon yung mga download options, so... If you're using Android or if you're using iOS, available po sa pareho. So, again, thank you so much. And our goal in this gold golden era, o diba? Our goal talaga is actually to um to beat to beat inflation, uh, kumbaga parang smartly and at the same time strategically. Ayan. I think that's the, that's the right term. And um, uh, here at Big C, we uh, actually... Uh, provide uh, knowledge network and tools for all women and of course gentlemen who attend our lives as well uh, with the uh, with the proper knowledge network and tools nga to um, equip them to start investing so again my name is bill and uh, i'll see you again uh, i'll see you again next week same time 6 30 p.m uh, Manila time. Yan. We observe Manila time kasi nandito na ako sa Manila. <laughs> Yun lang pala yung reason. So, 6.30pm, Manila time. Kita kits ulit tayo on Thursday. And, um, keep, uh, we'll keep you posted in our, um, social media, Facebook, Big C, uh, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Kung hindi nyo pa kami fina-follow, please do so para malaman nyo yung mga updates. So, we will be posting more in the coming days about what's gonna happen in the coming months. So, Again, thank you so much and see you again next Thursday. Bye!